If my mom was still living, she would find it hilarious. Nice. <laughs> Granny! Oh no, not my grandma. <laughs> my mom would have me committed. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright. So, um, how's everyone been? Alive. Isolated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every, every, everyone have a good weekend, I assume. Yeah. Until yeah. Saturday. No one no one died. No one died. Yep. Oh. Cool. Alright. So Except for our characters, because they're all dead, right? Yeah, they are they are all they We're are dead all undead. Dead undead, yeah. Yeah. You can be more dead though. That's an option. So. We, could, we could be deader. <laughs> yeah, so let's be deader. let's become super dead. More, more dead is an option, uh, for sure. It's um, like levels of death membership. Whew. Uh, do you use a punch card? You like got my uh got my I'm third. thinking like gold tier and you know. Yeah. It's like it's, Patreon. I, I'm I'm an elite dead. Alright. <laughs> I get free stays. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Um Alright, so um your characters uh, are at the the sort of the, the beginning of the castle here. You're right at the the, the foot of it. Uh, and you're about to enter, I assume? Sure. We're gonna break in the back door or climb in through a window or maybe before we, we go be. in, we should somebody should like roll for um let me get my character sheets. That's a good idea. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> you know. Um What do you want to defy danger? Is that what you want? <laughs> no, 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 not defy danger. Did you say you wanted to defy danger? Hold on, I have to plug in my headphones. There are these Mongolian death worms. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm not a bard anymore, so it's not bardic lore. What am I looking for? You got these books. Um, you got books. Yeah, the books. I used one of them. You did. You did. I bet you. I used one of them about the fire possums. Let's see. Yeah, you had a bestiary. You know what? Um, I was just trying to see if there's like something um to to look and see like not detect magic. What am I looking for? 42. <laughs> okay, you guys, help me out here. Like, when you're looking for, to see if there's traps or, like, history or something. Well, if we had a thief, you could look for traps for sure, but we don't have a thief. Would it be spouting lore? You could spout yeah. lore. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was oh, looking okay. for. Yeah. All right, cool. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> you want to <laughs> Thank spout you. some lizor. All I'm, right. I'm not on it tonight. I'm trying. Yep. Don't worry, that was just a wild guess. Yeah, roll, so roll, cool. roll 2d6 on your uh, intellect, I do believe. Okay, let's see. My intellect. And... An eight. Cool. Um, you know that you're all going to die, you saw it in a prophecy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, all right. Well, what do you What do you want to know, though? Okay. So you get some questions uh, about that. What do you do? You What are you spouting lore about? And you'd be more specific. Okay. Um, usually, you don't ask us this. Um, it's like what we're dealing with is also too vague. Um, what does the building look like? Um. Well, it's a it's a castle. Uh, it looks a little a little uh, aged, um, but who knows how long it's been here? It could have been here thousands thousands of years. Um, but uh, it's uh, the, you can still you see the lights are on. There's definitely it's like some uh, habitation going on inside it. Um, there is um, sort of a walled area that goes around it before you enter the main castle. Um, it is made of um, spires and rooms and things like that. So. Um, that's what you see. All right. Um, anybody else? Cool. I want to spout some lore to see if Jebediah knows what this castle's about. All right. All right. You so would know more. Roll, roll on that. That's an eight. Okay, cool. Um, now, uh, you did mention uh, at the very beginning uh, that uh, you don't really concern yourself with uh, the things going on outside of the farm. So you have limited knowledge. Um, but... You know um, that there, um, these these sort of uh, sites, um, they generate. Uh, it's almost like electricity, but it's, it's magical power. Um, so they generate magical power, uh, and there are several stations like this. These castles uh, scatter um, every 
um, sort of demonic county has one. Um, and uh, I mean, you live out in the sticks, so this is like not really one of the nicer ones. Um, so, uh, and it's usually run by some sort of uh, state official government body or whatever. So, those are the things that you know. Neat. I'm yeah. going to share that with the party. Cool. I would also like to share what I learned. Cool. Which was not a lot. All right. So we are we going in or are we rolling for Absolutely. the five Absolutely. Awesome. Is it, is isn't it, is Ignis just going to walk right, waltz right in? Absolutely. Uh -huh. They didn't tell me not to, so sure. It's a government building. This should be fine. Yeah. There's probably a queue somewhere. It's a government building for demons. <laughs> um. So all right, cool. Uh, so you're waltzing in. Um, he's you, waltzing in, just he, to be knock, clear. Knock, he, he's going in first. He's and, like the buoy that we're sending out. Just and no, <laughs> and, and, and no one's trying to stop him, right? That's, that's no, that thing. Oh, I'm walking in behind him. Yeah, okay, cool. I gotta, it so yeah, you, close. you sort of, you sort trying of get into the, uh, the main know. halls of it, and um, it's uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone sort of guarding it initially. Um, so you're sort of standing in this main foyer place, and. Um, uh, Jeb's fists start to glow. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's hellhounds about. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, um, what do you do? Your fists are glowing. What are your, what's, what is your, what are your actions? I'm going to prepare to punch. Cool, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Load your punch. Up. <laughs> yep. Do you, do you tell the groupers, or is is it just it? You just oh yes, them. I definitely tell them. There's hellhounds coming. We okay, notice. Cool. cool. Does anybody have any any, any reactions to that? Jazz hands. <laughs> puppers. Yes, no, <laughs> we're not doing this again. <laughs> it, it is it is puppers. <laughs> it is puppers, but we're not doing this again. Yeah. yeah. Fetch me the salt. <laughs> Nats doesn't like dogs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the uh, the your fists start to glow brighter and brighter. And sort of uh, through the main gate, um, three uh, three hounds uh, set ablaze uh, with red glowing eyes, and um, they have sort of like exposed uh, patches of their body where like you can see ribs or like thigh or things like that. Um, and drooling from their mouths uh, is this sort of very viscous, thick liquid. And as it hits the floor, it sizzles a little bit. Um, and they're sort of growling and snarling. You can see their teeth. Uh, what do you do? Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. <laughs> no! Uh, it's a bad idea. Is there anything I don't need a new body? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to call out, who's got control of these dogs? Cool, yeah, yeah. Um, call your dogs down before I put them down. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let me get you to roll on some charisma to see how well this 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 shout you're giving to the general nothingness goes. Sweet, that's a five. Yeah, cool, <laughs> cool. So as you shout, uh, the dogs start sprinting in your direction, uh, oh. angrily and baring their teeth. Um, oh shit! Yeah, so uh, they're bearing down on you. Um, what is uh, what is Danica doing? Well, it was nice while it lasted. Uh, <laughs> Already into the heat of it. Here we go. Um, just don't touch you know anything. What? I guess we're gonna have to just like what? go go and just. So I'm gonna try magic missile. All right, cool. All right, so you got three dogs: one to the left, one to the right, and one in the center. Um, which one do you shoot at? Which one's the closest? Uh, the center one's probably leading the pack. Center. Let's go for center. All right, so roll for it. All right, and what's what are what is the Never mind. I was about to ask what the uh, <laughs> I was about to ask what the modifier was, but I got a two, so whatever it is, it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, as you're as you're Good start, guys. going to perform your action, <laughs> the uh, the middle one uh, leaps into the air, uh, uh, dragging you to the ground, um, and uh, biting sort of uh, at your face. You've got your arms up blocking, but it's it's still doing some damage on you. Um, and we're gonna do a little roll for that. So, uh, four damage is what you're going to take on that uh, okay. as it's attacking you. Um, you can deduct any armor you have from that. 
Um, I have no armor because I have books. Yep. Meanwhile, what is uh, what is Meep up to? I guess I'm gonna start firing arrows, and I'm gonna do a called shot. All right, cool. So, uh, is it two d six plus? Yep, two d six dex. Okay. It says it's rolling. All right, and. All right, cool. So it's uh, about a ten. That is an eleven. Eleven, you got two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where are you shooting it? Which one? Sorry. Uh, you fell. Uh, the one to the left, <laughs> and um, I'm shooting it in the head. Cool. Does it have a, a head Does it have a name? Does it have a name? Yeah. Does, does it have a not name? Not if we're gonna shoot it. Let's not name it. <laughs> Sparky. I guess we can name it things that we don't like. I'm gonna name it Target Practice then. Okay. Cool. Asparagus. <laughs> okay. Asparagus. This is asparagus. Okay. Asparagus. All right. So you're shooting asparagus in the eye. You said. In the head. In the head. In the head. In the head in general. Okay, cool. So yeah, yeah. Uh, then roll for damage. Come on, figure it out. There it is. Oh <laughs> uh, wow! <Ooh. laughs> He's got that's a really rough. thick that's, skull. That's rough. <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, it, it embeds itself in its skull. It seems mostly unfazed. It takes some some amount of damage, um, but it doesn't really doesn't stop its uh, its sort of wild rage. Um, and um, sort of while that's happening, the other one is sort of tearing at uh, Danica. And then we've got the one to the right, um, who is uh, sort of taken uh, to the air in Ignis's general direction. Ignis, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to use my burning brand. Okay. Uh, still have to make a constitution check. So that's plus... Two, no, that's plus one, so six. Darn, so I guess I just, I just don't get it at all. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, no, I just don't get to give it a tag. Never mind. Okay. Well, does that mean I'm not... I don't it? know how this works. <laughs> yeah, so, so on, on a, if you get a six... You... A, six a six lesser is a failure. Yeah. Okay, yep. so I just don't get anything? No, uh -uh. Okay. So, oh. um... So yeah, uh, it so it does its attack is successful. Um, it uh, it also sort of leads onto you, dragging you down to the ground. Just shortly after Danica was pulled down to the ground, you were also going to take some damage uh, as it sort of like claws and paws at you. Uh, seven <laughs> seven damage. Um, my uh, my D four on healing since it's an odd number. Yep. Oh yeah. Nice. Gosh, that's a it's almost like a cheat. Um, yeah. So all right, cool. Um, but it, so it's damaging you. Uh, Jeb, your your allies are not faring so good. Meep did do okay, but you get both Danica and Ignis now on the ground with these these hellhounds. What are you doing? Uh, which one of them's closer to me? Uh, I don't know which one is closer to you. Mm, okay, which one of you two took the most damage? I took three in total, and I took. Let's see. You took four. Four? Yeah, yeah, I took a four. Cool. Then Danica's close. I'm going to be like, oh, shit, and punch the dog in the face. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do it. Thank you. Yeah. With a nine. Sweet. Cool. All right, so that's success. Uh, then roll for damage. Seven damage. All right, cool. Somehow. <laughs> um, so you, These uh, fists were made for socking. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you <laughs> knock it off of Danica. Um... And it uh, flies off to the uh, to the left some some distance, um, and Danica is able to sort of start getting up. Um, so just describe the hit when you hit it. What, how how is how is the contact? How does the uh, how does the feel? What happens? All right. Well, I see it jump on Danica and start attacking. I see it just heal a bit, so I'm like, all right, he should be fine. So I come up with an uppercut right underneath his jaw and just boop. Nice. Send it flying. Cool, cool. Um, all right, cool. So um, now, while that's happening, Danica, you've just had this uh, this hellhound knocked off of you. What are you doing? All right. So my question to you, since we had the bestiary book for the possums, can I use that same book to see if we can find an advantage? Yeah, sure. For the hellhounds. Yeah. Love to do that. Okay, cool. So. Yeah. Okay. Do I get that automatically? Do I roll for it? And what is the modifier if I do? Um. No, I think because you have a book, it's, so you, you this is knowledge you would just have, right? So. Okay. Um. So yeah, you start thumbing through your book. We're gonna take this as your action to look through the book and find the information. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, you tell me, what 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 do you know about these things? 
Well, obviously, from what you told us, um, they're decaying animals. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like they were already weak to physical attacks um, because of Jebediah. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to have acid, um, or, you know, at least, like, hot saliva or whatever, because that's what was in the description. Yep. So, I think... Right, well, I'm giving you ag I'm giving you agency to tell me a fact about these that you make up on your own. So you can tell me tell me what their weakness is. You can tell me what their weakness is. Oh, uh, okay. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to surmise like the clues we already have. They've got hard heads because that didn't work. They're afraid Gold of fire squirrels. squirrels. They're afraid of fire squirrels. Fire squirrels. <laughs> They're afraid of fire squirrels. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good, but uh, um. I'll, I'll modify it. They're, they're, um, they don't like small creatures, and their their weakness is in their side. Okay, okay, weakness in their side. Uh, so uh, going forward, if you if you attack them in the side, well, are you telling this to the group or are you yelling this out? I am totally telling yeah. this group, yelling it out, yeah. whatever you know. Along with along with basic, basic lifespans and you know feeding habits yeah. and things like that too. Sure, of course. Um, so uh, yeah, you tell them. If anybody wants size. to ask a question that may. Uh, <laughs> be yeah. good for the dog. Yeah, and they, they they don't like small animals. Sure, um, I'm okay with that. So, uh, all right. So now we know some stuff about these animals. Um, so, uh, what is what is Meep doing? Can uh, I use gnats to uh, <laughs> provoke or scare the hellhound off of Ignis? Yeah, probably. Okay, what do I need to roll for that? Just um, I would I would roll on um, probably. Constitution on Nat's part, I guess. Past fear. Well. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Nat's is you not boy. scary. That's sure. A three. <laughs> so uh, Nat's uh, Nat's does run up to the uh, the one um, that is attacking uh, Ignis, um, and the uh, the animal is indeed afraid of it. Um, but uh, dogs d typically react very poorly to fear in a very violent way. Um, so uh, it. Uh, it snaps at Nats, uh, and uh, Nats, Nats just jump back a little bit, um, but it does uh, sort of um, catch Nats a little bit, you know, give him a little scratch when he bites him. Um, so Nats will be uh, a little unruly, uh, maybe uncontrollable for the next uh, little bit, because he is okay. chaotic, as we discussed at the beginning. Right. Yeah, so, and he's, he's, not too, he's not too happy about this situation. So, um, in the Sorry, bud. Yeah. In, in the meantime... <laughs> Ignis, you still got this uh, this beast on you. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna use. So they're on fire, right? Yeah, yeah, they're fire. <laughs> so can I bend their flames to kind of like throw them off of me? Yeah, sure. Uh, An eleven. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's totally successful. Um, and we can we can do some damage on that too. Nice. Um. If you want, would you like to inflict damage while you're doing it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, roll my dice. Yeah, yeah. Just roll your your uh, standard damage. Nice. Get back to the seven you dealt seven. me. Yeah. So describe to me how how you use its own fire to lift it off of you and toss it or damage it in some way. Uh, like like well, bending him off with my left arm. Uh, Ignis kind of like, uh, kind of like force holds on to like the his right side and just like yanks him off, throwing him away. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, he, he flies off, uh, taking his damage, um, still pretty unhappy about the situation, and, uh, meanwhile, um, we come to Jeb. Jeb, what's happening? Uh, I guess Jeb's gonna punch whichever one's closest to him. The other two got thrown, so I guess that's asparagus? Yeah, asparagus. Alright, cool. Jeb's gonna throw some fists at asparagus, then. Cool. Asparagus. <laughs> asparagus. Asparagus smells a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. That's ten. Yeah, nice. that's so, nice. Yeah. So do you do you want to um, also do additional oh, yes. damage? Of course you do. Um, so uh, go ahead and roll your damage, and then roll your additional damage too. Six damage. All right. Cool. Um, so tell me how you're how you're uh, how you're attacking this thing. Well. Uh, I am just gonna rear back and punch the arrow further into its head. Okay, all right, cool. all right, <laughs> nice. Um, so you did, you managed to lodge the arrow a little bit further into its head, um, and uh, it sort of hits the ground. It falls, crumples down. Um, as uh, as you're doing this, so you you were uh, 
fully focused on your task. The other two have um, come and bitten you on both legs, uh, so they're both on your ankles now, uh, biting you and trying to pull you down. They're struggling with you, um, and so you're going to take some damage on that. Let's uh, roll for one, and then roll for the other. Clicky clicks. Come on. Yep. So five damage total uh, you're going to take um, from them. You can duck any army that you have from that. Um, Danica, what are, what are you up to? All right. Um, let's try magic missile again. All right, cool. Because that worked so well the first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, it worked better this time. All right, so what am I rolling on, though? Uh, for magic missile, is um, does it say on your spells? Probably on your um, intellect. Oh, cast a spell. Okay. Yeah. So that will be 11. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah, and so... Which uh, means... Yeah, there's, there's some information on your sheet about that. Yep. Okay, 2d4s. This one and this one. All right, that's a seven. All right, which one? Which one were you attacking? Sorry. Um, I am attacking. Which one's um, which one's got the most damage on it? Because I know that they don't have a lot of damage. They're all pretty equal actually right now. They're they're all within one HP difference. Just because I can name it, and we don't know the other two. Yeah, let's just. Well, I hurt someone if I magic missile asparagus. Um. No, you you got a you got a good roll, so you're not gonna, you're not in danger really. Okay, then yeah, let's just fuck up asparagus. You, you have you have full control of your, <laughs> fuck of your up magic. asparagus. Yeah, yeah. And you said that was a seven asparagus seven seven damage. Yeah. Yep, cool. The seven damage. Yeah. yeah. So describe the blast on asparagus. And asparagus just took some extra like arrow into the brain. Um, <laughs> so, uh, just describe your your attack. Well, asparagus is over there, just you know, drooling and being a, a hellhound, and I kind of. Um, you know, I have the big flowy sleeve, so and just kind of uh, form it, and you know, it, it billows out of my sleeve and just heads over and just kind of impacts against him and throws him against the wall. Okay, cool, sweet. Um, all right, and now the other two, they're still they're still uh, attacking and pulling on uh, Jeb as all this is happening. Um, Got my damn pant legs. Yep. Uh, what is what is Meep up to at this moment? Um, I guess I'll take out my... What is it? I have a short sword? Is that... Sure. What do I have? Okay, yeah, I'll take that out and I'll... I'll, I'll I'm gonna stab one of the ones on his leg, because right. I'm at their height right now. Yeah, <laughs> alright, nice. Where, where are you going to stab it? In the side. Cool. You can take plus one on your roll. Awesome. Um, what am I adding to this? Yeah, Dex? Dex. Yep. Alright, that's an eight. Cool. Alright, uh, and then roll for damage then. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so describe your stab. Well, I come waddling up, and I twirl the sword in my hand, and I just stick it in there. Yep. Um, so you jab it in the side. Uh, it releases uh, Jeb's leg, um, sort of cries out in pain a little bit. Um, and uh, old Nats just really uh, is still kind of messed up and uh, <laughs> doesn't like the sound that the howling is making. And so Nats kind of goes nuts, um, and um, sort of in an attempt to escape, uh, scratches scratches your head and face as it's as Nats leaps off of your head. Awesome. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, and you take uh, just like one damage. Look at that. One, Trade. One damage of Nats. <laughs> so that's just, that's some, like Nats light. All right. Um, so um, then, Ignis, what's happening? Uh, we're gonna attempt to summon another burning brand. Okay. No. <laughs> Zuko stop, maybe? I mean, if you'll let me do that also, then you can, sure. You, you can do one or the other, for sure. Alright. Uh, well, no, I already rolled the the burning brand is, is all. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, uh, what you got? Oh, you rolled. <laughs> you rolled. <laughs> You are not so good. Yeah. Aww. So, um, what, what were you? I'm having a hard time over there. What were you attempting to do? What, what was your? Uh, I was gonna make a whip and hit one of the dogs away from Jeb. Cool, cool. 
All right. Um, so as, as you go to you know conjure the magic to do to do your your bidding, um, uh, what happens almost like a fuse is as you form the whip, it just like um, reverbs back at you uh, and explodes in your hand, um, causing a bit of damage, so two damage, um, fire damage to your hand uh, as it explodes, um, uh, knocking your hand back uh, from you um, and uh, disorienting you for just a minute. Um, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, Jeb, you still got this other dog on your leg. What's going on? Uh, what else? I'm gonna thump it. <laughs> just gonna, With what? You, you, you could scratch it on the belly or something. I'm right? <laughs> just gonna punch it on the top of the head. Get off me, you son of a bitch. That's yeah. seven. Seven. Alright, cool. Um, so, and then roll for damage, too. Woo! Two damage. <laughs> Oof, that's right. It's behind me. It's a little hard to hit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, um, as you go to punch it, um, it, uh, it, re it releases your, um, your leg and opens its mouth, uh, and so you catch it right in the mouth. So you punch it straight in the mouth. It does some damage, but it also is biting your hand in the same process. Um, uh, just after the hit, it lets, it lets loose, uh, and sets back just a few, um, a few feet from you. Um, but you are, you are taking some damage on that one. Two damage. Deduct your armor from that. Um, and um, if uh, if at this time I get everyone to roll two d six on Constitution for Defy Danger. Yay! Five. Seven. <laughs> Seven. All right. Oh, we got two people that barely six. Yeah. And two people that just did it. <laughs> so so all the hounds um uh sort of uh they, they they gather together and they howl simultaneously um and it's like this sort of ear piercing sound um so um the uh who got six and less me me yep all right so uh jeb and meep uh you're you're gonna sort of fall to your knees for a minute uh grab your grab your ears um and then you're also gonna take uh some damage on that uh this will be internal damage it's six um and uh, then um, we're both Danica and Ignis seven to nine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you guys uh, just um, one damage, uh, but you're you're not going to be as phased by this. Uh, you've managed to sort of like bear it uh, with your constitution. Um, and uh, both uh, Jeb and Meep are going to take a minus one to your next roll uh, from this attack. Um, so now all the uh, the mutts are huddled together again, um, with uh, sort of uh, asparagus at the center, and then the others two on either side. Um, what is uh, what is Danica doing? Well, I really only have, for the most part, one big attack. So we're gonna we're gonna do that magic missile again. Okay, all right. This time I'm aiming for a side. All right, cool. Even let's see. Uh, even then, I fail with a six. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> which which one were you aiming for? I was aiming for asparagus again. Asparagus. All right, cool. We gotta give these other ones names. All right, so we got asparagus in the center. Uh, to the left. Cherry. Cherry. All right. Cool. You don't like cherries? I hate cherries. Wow. God, I hate cherries. Wow. Anything cherry flavored it is. Dang. The no go. That's rough. Cherry, whatever. Yeah, and what, what's what's the other one? The cher cherry to the left. Who's to the right? Hitler. <laughs> I was gonna say garbage, but yeah, can Hitler. I, sure. Can we, can we go with Adolf? Garbage Hitler. Let's, let's go with Adolf. I'm gonna call him Adolf. Dolphy. Garbage, gar garbage Adolf. That's, a, that's his uh, full name. Garbage Adolf. Garbage Adolf. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, so. So Cherry, um, sort of uh, seeing you try try to, to do do your business, um, uh, doesn't like your magic at all. Um, of course, and, yeah. And um, so uh, Cherry starts rushing you, um, and so you're sort of in this uh, this peril at the moment as you're being charged by Cherry. Um, meanwhile, uh, Meep, Meep, what's happening? Um. So I guess I'm gonna shoot at Cherry with my sure. uh, enchanted bow that can. You don't have that. Kai has that right now. <laughs> Fuck Kai! 
guy, man. That's why we broke up. You should have named one of the. You should have named one of the Hellhounds, Kai. Kai. Kai's in the living world. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna shoot at him with my normal fucking bow. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Two D six on Dex. That's an eight. Cool. Um, and then roll for damage. Um, so, uh, tell me what happens as you lose your bow, or lose your arrow. Um, so I guess I'm still getting my bearings from the loud howling. Yeah. And so, like, my hands are trembling, and it looks like I'm not going to be able to make the shot, but somehow it gets it, and everyone's just like, fuck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not, but alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so where, where does it, where does it hit, um, where does it hit the, uh, the demon dog at? I'll just say it goes into its neck. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, okay, so it catches the neck, it pierces the neck going from one side to the other. Uh, it is now sticking out of its neck um, on either side, um, and some sort of like a hot searing liquid just drips out of it. Um, and it does it does stop its um, its attack. Um, it sort of uh, uh, turns from the hit uh, slightly, throwing it off, um, and misses, misses its uh, attack on Danica. Um, meanwhile, uh, the other two are... Uh, now beginning to uh, rush the group again. Um, what is uh, Ignis doing? Uh, we will attempt to make a burning brand, I guess. <laughs> uh, seven. Okay. All right, cool. So that, that will be uh, successful with uh, some degree of, of limited use. Um, and then, uh, do you want to use that to attack? Yes. All right. I th I think with a with a seven, you get like one use. Is that what that... No, it's. It, I have three attacks, no matter what. Okay. If I get a seven, I can give it uh, a tag of. Oh yeah. Okay. Hand thrown slash near plus one damage or remove the dangerous. Yeah. Time. Okay. So. Uh, I'll give it thrown. I'll make a spear and I'll. Chuck okay. That at one of the dogs. Sure. Okay. Great. Uh, damage. Uh, then you you'll roll on your normal damage for that. Okay. Because it just basically becomes a weapon. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, and yeah, so, so describe the uh, the action. Uh, Ignis just kind of like forms a spear from his hands, winds back, and just chucks it into the side of a dog. Cool. And which which dog? Um, we'll say Cherry. All right, cool. <laughs> Cherry just took one to the one to the neck, and now going to take one to the side. Cool. Um, all right. So um, now you're hitting in the side, so I'll give you plus one extra damage on that because uh, they are weak in the side. Uh, so that'll be nine damage, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna sort of um, murder the hellhound uh, if you want to describe that in further detail. Uh, I can only imagine it being that it the spear like sinks in like, and then after a second the dog kind of just looks up confused and then he explodes in fire. Yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so uh, there is explosion. Um, and uh cherry bomb yep ch cherry bomb look at that wow <laughs> I know. unintentional um all right cool so, the background. so cherry yeah cherry is no more um but um the other two definitely Varagus uh, and garbage adolf are still standing yeah yeah oh, let me it. uh ignis let me get you to roll uh defy danger um as uh adolf uh is is bearing upon you so uh, you can like constitution. You can roll on um, constitution, strength, or dexterity, depending on how you want to uh, sort of evade the attack. Okay. Well, it's it's a six, no matter what. Then. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, you are unsuccessful. Uh, you've just loosed the spear, so you've left yourself open to some attack. Um, and uh, Adolf um, definitely um, sort of uh, turns and whips at you with his tail. He's got a very bony tail, uh, knocking you off your feet onto the ground. Um, and then you're going to take, uh, just one damage on that. Look at that. And it's, it's an odd number. So, oh, it's not fire damage. So. Well, it doesn't have to be fire damage. Oh, it's just damage? Take damage and is odd. Okay, cool. Yeah. So look at that. It, it's beneficial to you. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, but you do fall to the ground. Um, meanwhile, Jeb, what's, uh, what's happening? Mm, well, I think Jeb's going to throw some punches at uh, good old Garbage. Okay, cool. At, uh, at Adolf. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Seven, so. And then roll for some damage. Five more damage. Cool. Um, and uh, how how is how are you hitting him? Um. Honestly, I'm gonna just keep popping him in the head. All right. All right no, cool. bat dog. Bah! <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. no, you thump him in the nose. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah. Power all right. Thump. So that's five damage. All right. So you um, as you uh, as you're sort of pummeling in on Adolf, um, good old asparagus uh comes in behind you, jumps on your back, uh, and is sort of like latched onto the back of your neck, um, with its claws gripped into your your back, um, and uh, there's some damage on that. You're gonna take. I click the button. There it goes six, so six damage. Uh, that any armor you have from that. Um, as you're sort of trying to shake this thing off your back and it's it's digging further and further into you. Um, meanwhile, Danica, what's happening? Magic missile. Good old magic missile. Failure of a magic missile. <laughs> so I think on your sheet, uh, whenever you fail a spell, there's some like consequences. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me look and see exactly what that is. We, we, we uh, cast a spell... On that one, it might be I get to decide, but I think I, mean, I know for seven to nine, you can you have like some options. It doesn't for it. say on the actual spell for cool. magic missile; it just tells if I succeed. No, and for um, cast a, yeah, on cast a spell. Yeah, for cast a spell, it says on a ten plus, it's successful, and yeah. you can pass cast it later. And on a seven to nine, you can cast it, but choose when it doesn't say. So I think you get to choose yep. like yeah, what yeah. The, so, um, it doesn't say. So your uh, your your failed attempts at a magic missile have a. Uh, uh, you've you've sort of um, lost the spell for okay. until you can repair it again. So um, you uh, you go to cast um, and there uh, the magic sort of just uh, is drawn from your body and you sort of uh, fall to the ground a little weak as it's been pulled out of you um, and uh, you'll lose your next turn uh, while you recover. Um, okay. All the while, Meep, what's happening? Um. I'm gonna see if Stan, uh, Nats is uh, feeling up to spooking the uh, Hellhound off of Jebediah. All right, cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is roll in charisma to see if Nats is is back in line. Um, is it on charisma? Yeah, that's a nine. All right, cool. So uh, Nats Nats does feel uh, uh, obliged to to help you. Um, Maybe maybe a little reluctant, but uh, we'll do as as your wish commanding. So then then what um, you're wanting Nats to spook the uh, the the mongrels? Yeah. All right. So yeah, just gonna have him like run up Jebediah and like boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, roll on on con for that for his uh his his being brave, I guess. That is a six. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nats. <laughs> Nats is no Stan. I'm sorry. Uh, Damn so, it. <laughs> yeah. So Nats, uh, Nats runs up Jebediah and um, does uh, does indeed manage to spook the dog. Um, but uh, what what happens is the uh, the dog gets so scared uh, it, it explodes. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Right. Right on uh, Jebediah's back. Um, so uh, let me get both. <laughs> Let me get... um, is that the hellhound version of you know piddling on the carpet? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did chuck you down a hole. Yeah. So, uh, Jebediah, you're gonna take seven damage, uh, fire damage. Um, let me get me to roll defy danger to see if you're gonna take some damage from that as well. What do I roll on? Uh, you'll um, you can roll on con or dex. Okay, that's a ten. Cool. So you do manage to dodge out of the way, um, but um, as you're doing so, uh, Nats uh, feels a little uh, pre pretty upset about the whole situation. A, a the being sent in, and the B, you just duck and run, and when it when it goes terrible, it's not my fault. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> yeah. Not Stan. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh don't say that. Him right. I think that's why he's unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Nats. Uh, Nats. Nats uh, sort of um, runs off into the distance for the moment. Oh, great! <laughs> yeah, 
Um, Just go in, loser. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't say it. No. <laughs> um, but uh, to be fair, the uh, the um, the one hell hell exploded and it's it's gone. So like doesn't exist anymore. Um, and then Jebediah's got a little, little charring on his back. Um, Ignis, we've just. Oh, uh, Jebediah is more than a little charred. <laughs> yeah. So, so Ignis, we have we just have Adolf left. What's going on? Um, I'll attempt to just like, I'm I'm done with this. I'll attempt to control his flames and like. Deal Lead him to a way. bunker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get a we get a twelve on that. Okay, cool. So, um, you uh, he's so he's he's pretty weakened. So, um. Uh, you control his flame, uh, and in doing so, you gain full agency over uh, over Adolf for the time being. I'm, I'm gonna split him like a Kit Kat, like one half on each side. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, are, are we splitting like a Kit Kat, like a normal person splits a Kit Kat, or are you like? No, splitting... I'm just gonna pull on either side. Okay. You're just down the middle. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I have one piece, and I want two pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I mean, sure. Um, so yeah, do you, if you would like hard, to ex- half rotting anyway. Ex- explain, explain the uh, the gore and horror for us. You can. I think I've already explained it. Just okay. take a take a firm magical force hold on either side, and just just like a zipper. Just zip. yeah, nice. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, he, he plays. That's a, that's, a, and, that's, uh, a, that's a weird sound for and, a zipper. Uh, it's actually yeah. a spine. Just yeah. Do- do- dog juices just go everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, his his corpse falls to the ground, uh, sort of lifeless and dead. Um, and um, so, uh, but at this time, your the 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 guard dogs uh, at the entrance have been uh, been dispatched. So uh, you're still in this corridor. Uh, what do you proceed to do at this point? Jeb is going to take the time to use both of his poultices and herbs packs because he's very hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got seven health left, and uh, each poultice pack heals another seven, so. Okay, all right, cool. Fantastic. So, am I still on hold? Do I still have to skip a turn, or? I rub the knuckle oil no, yeah. on. You're okay. It's just, oh, you're, you're okay, that'll be collect fine. Collect yourself at this point. Um... <laughs> um because I'm wondering, I should probably do a health potion and just use one of the things for my adventuring pack. Yeah, sure. Um, and what do you do? What do you roll for um, health potion? Uh, two two d sixes for the amount. Um. All right, that gets me back up to full health. Cool, cool. All right, nice. All right. Um, so, is there anything you guys want to do in this room, or do you want to like uh, venture on? Do you want to like look around? What's happening? Um, let's see. I could detect magic if everything's back to normal since the combat's over. Sure. That is a 13. Alright, cool. Yeah, so, um, down the main corridor, you detect uh, a pretty strong sense of magic. There are other, like, uh, so, um... You detect some like small magical, like possibly beings or creatures or whatever. I mean, it's the demon realm. A lot of things potentially yeah. have magic in this area, um, but there are two uh, very strong sources of magic. Um, but they feel like they're pretty pretty far down that in that direction. Uh, but you do sense um, big magic in that way. Okay, big magic energy. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell the group what I see, which is not a whole lot, but I tried. <laughs> cool. Small magic everywhere, big magic down hall, you know, just <laughs> big magic down the hall. Yeah. So, um, it's all, it's all, it's sort of all demonic magic too. You don't sense any sort of, uh, human, no light magic. magic yeah. yeah. No, no human magic. All demon magic, two sources down hallway, you know, just make it really, really clear and, and incise. Yeah. Do y'all carry on in that direction, or do you want to become, like, you know, spelunkers down the side of the cliff? What's happening? <laughs> I mean, we could, we could but we need God. bodies. We can spelunk later. We need bodies. And you need a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stating why we're all here. Absolutely. Yeah. 
I don't want to go back to the cliff. I worry about y'all. <laughs> yeah. The cliff's not a good place for us. Yeah. There is a couple of nice possums down at the bottom, though. Yeah. Well, if you want to go find those later, we're going to get the bodies first, so... No, uh, I'll, I'll get my magical hoe first. Mm -hmm. cool. I guess we're going towards big magic energy, then. All right, cool. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you advance uh, through the corridor. Um, you uh, sort of, as you go on, you notice uh, the decor becomes a little more dilapidated as you kind of move further in. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, that's not right. yeah. Um, so you see some, like, armor on the wall. There's, like, some spire that's sort of, like, partially caved in. Um, and this is sort of in the general direction of, of where you're going. Um, and, uh... As you um, walk by, there are these sort of like three suits of armor, and um, when you walk by them, one of them says, "Hey, hey, you, you over there, come here. What do you I do?" I walk up to it. Sure. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> sure of course you do. <laughs> so uh, he says, "Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What what are you doing here?" Come on, the passengers. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was thinking, walking around. Oh God, fairy bones standing. He says, he says, "Oh yeah, yeah. What's uh? We, we don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of the uh, the the dead mortals in here. What 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 brings you to a place like this? You know, you know, this is a demon castle, right? I don't. That's don't what know. I heard. He's like, cool, cool, cool. Well, listen, uh, I got a I got a really really good tip for you, but I got a problem. You gotta." You gotta set me free, and then then I can I can definitely like help you. Set you free? <laughs> no. What do you mean, Ignis? He says, "Well, you see, on on the front of this, on the front of this, there's a there's like this mask. You see this front of the helmet? If you just like lift that up, right? Yeah, I can I could get out. Isn't that part of your uniform? He says, "No, I, I'm I've been sealed in here, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no don't uniform. <laughs> it's, I don't no. want to make I don't want to break uniform code." I'm sorry, but I will not participate in such awful, awful detriment to workplace environments. All right, good day, good day, sir. Just, all right, all right just, you'll, you'll, you'll be sorry. You'll be oh. sorry. I I'll really, pat him on the really, back and be like, you done good, son. Uniform I really, really wish I was a bard so I could question you. You can question it. Fair enough. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I want to know, like, I want, I want the truth from this guy, like... Right. What are you? Why were you sealed away? Like, right. give him the third degree, right. but so, with 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 love and care. So, so um, are you? Could you detect magic again and see if you know? Is he just a small source of magic, or is he a big source of magic? He's not the big be... source because the big source is down the hall, little yeah. magic okay. all around. Okay. And I failed, so he probably told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> 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 well, I am a demon, so I might as well interrogate him. Yeah. Cool. Well, hold on, like, hold on. We, you failed, but we still have to play that interaction, right? So, what, what did you Aww. say? What, what was your What was your uh, line of questioning or your? I was like, "Hey, <laughs> so why were you sealed away? So what uh, bad, bad did you do? Yeah, yeah." Um, he says, "Hmm, I see, I see. You're 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 freshly dead, just like the the young one over there. Mm -hmm. The things the things we could do with you. The things oh, we no, could do." No. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna step up and like move the children back, stay away from the kids. Don't touch me. <laughs> Great. Cool. Earth and hell. Cool. Okay, I'm walking away now. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so Jeb, Jeb, what were you, uh, what were you about to do? Good cop, bad cop. Right. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb, Jeb's gonna grab like whatever could be useful as a chair and be like, "Let me pull up a chair, son. We're gonna have a discussion." Why are you scaring these nice young people? <laughs> oh, oh, d d demon lord master, sir, I would, I would never. Are they with you? Are you here with these mortals? That's indeed I am. That's peculiar. Human, your mortals and, and demons don't typically associate. Do you? Are you one of those fetish demons? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fetish does a suit of armor have? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Apparently, a, a freshly dead Polish human me. fetish. Polish me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for different kinds of releases. That's what that sounds oh. like. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look at the arm and be like, I have a fetish, but it doesn't involve them. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Okay, well, if you could, uh, maybe you, you could help me out here. You see, I'm in need of some release. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just, if you could just open the flap on the front of this armor and, and let me out, I could certainly help you in this place. It, it would be beneficial to everyone if I were just not in this anymore. I'm, I'm gonna purposefully open the bottom flap, not the top. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Wait where, a where, where is the bottom flap? I'm, I'm curious. Like charisma, do not try to roll the seduce. <laughs> Hold on. When you say bottom flap, okay. <laughs> I assume that there is like a loin area. Yeah, sure. That, re <laughs> that requires flap opening, so they don't have to get fully undressed out of armor in order to pee. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> Do not seduce the suit of armor. <laughs> so please, you, Meep is begging you right now. You're gonna now. get can the I, rough beating. Can beating. I roll a charisma right now? Do you, can I please roll a charisma? Do you want to stop him? Yes. Okay, no, you, you can, just you let can, him do his thing. You can Maybe. roll plus bonds to like slap his hand out of the way or something. That's that's a thing. Polish him. Don't so do yeah, it. Roll two d six plus whatever your how many however many bonds you have with Jeb, which I think is one. It's an eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, Which means you touch the demon junk. No, no, no. Uh, so, uh, so, <laughs> so, he moves my, I slap him, but my hand lands on it instead. Right. So, so, so what happens is uh, Jeb, Jeb uh, goes to lift it. He gets it just slightly open before you like pop it away. Um, and in the brief moment that it's open, um, you, can, you can hear um, this, this sound uh, just only for a second when it's open. And it sounds like... Um, How do I describe this? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it's it's kind of like maybe like crinkling paper or even rustling leaves uh, inside for just that second when you open it, uh, and then it closes back up and that sound goes away. And uh, the suit of armor it says, is, a, "Is it a goblin eating a Snicker bar?" So um, I mean, it could sound like that, sure. Um, <laughs> um, but. Uh, then the, uh, the the armor uh, sort of says, "Hey, hey, what are you doing down there? Hey, hey." <laughs> Sorry, just curious. <laughs> A little too curious. <laughs> he says, "He says, hey, that that flap will do too. Any flap will do. In fact, oh, of course it will. <laughs> in fact, if you could just if you could break the armor, that'd be cool too." Mm -mm. Now, do you give me your word you're not going to cause no. us trouble? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, he says, oh, trouble. I would I would never be trouble. We would never be trouble. This is yeah, not I don't like that you just for. said we, sir. <laughs> 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 this is the end of our discussion. <laughs> cool. So you just walk away. Walk away. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right, awesome. Um, Ain't no ghost penis worth it. Does everyone else? <laughs> does, does, does everyone else walk away as well? Yes. Yes. Yeah, cool. Um, so, uh, so you make your way down the corridor, and as you're waking down, he shouts. He's like, "You'll be sorry. You should have let me out." And then you you walk away, and it fades away, and so you uh, you don't see the armor anymore. Um, <laughs> So as you uh, you make your way, uh, you don't run into any any major problems uh, until you come to uh, what <laughs> what appears to be maybe the entrance to you know the big magic, um, and it's it's you know maybe mildly disturbing. It looks um, like the wall damned, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's this wall, and it it, it has uh, all these sort of like uh, murals um, sort of embedded in the side, and um, one of them uh, comes off the wall and steps down, uh, and you see before you, uh, wearing a a butler's uniform, uh, someone that both Jebediah and Ignis recognize. It's yeah. it's, it's Joffrey. Oh. <laughs> it's Joffrey. Joffrey steps down and he says, uh, as he steps down, he says, "What is your business here?" Well. 
Joffrey. Long time no see, by the way. Me and my friends come for a matter of reasons or another. I totally paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? So, uh, Joffrey, uh, sort of with, with a blank stare on his face, you can see, like, uh, a, a twitch start uh, forming in his eye uh, as he sort of looks at you and he, he, he uh, kind of shakes his head a little bit and he says you hey. you you're the reason I'm in this place uh, and sort of pointing and shaking as he does so Jeb do you say anything uh, while this is all happening uh, Jeb is eyeing him up and down like still as pretty as the day we left <laughs> All right, cool. Now, Ignis, do you have any uh, any re retort to uh, his, his sort of accusations of... Well, uh, you're being awful vague about this. I've done a lot of things. <laughs> 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 so, uh, then he sort of catches a uh, uh, look at Jeb, and uh, as he does, um, his body sort of convulsing a little bit, and he's like, he's like, J J Jeb? My love? It's, <laughs> is that you? You... You never returned my summons. <laughs> There's work on the field needs to be done. I got to get to it. Wow, Joffrey, you really get around. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and he says, well, not, not anymore, thanks to I you. Am I implying that Ignis was also with Joffrey? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not imply that. Ignis is a good boy, right? Yeah, okay. This is a cinnamon bun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> A sickly sweet what, cinnamon what bun. Is, I mean, because I would devour a cinnamon bun, so I don't know what that means necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a little weird. <laughs> They're delicious. They're covered in like, you know, frosting. They're sticky and gooey. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> um so, uh, so, um, after sort of the, the moment of of emotional outburst, um. His movements all come to a halt. Uh, the blank stare returns to his face, uh, and he sort of resumes his composure, and he says, uh, uh, once again, um, uh, I beg your pardon, but I must ask again, what is your business in this place? Well, I'm here for a hoe. Mine broke, you see. I'm here for my body. I'm here for my body. <laughs> I need a body. Yeah. So, uh, hey, buddy, not my buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. so, I'll inhabit uh, whatever. He says, uh, "This is no place for those of the mortal realm, and but, you, but, sir demon. Well, you, but you're all from the mortal realm. You're, you're all dead." <laughs> uh, and he says, "You, sir demon, have you prepared the appropriate reparations?" I'm a pull out a bag of reparations out of my adventuring gear? No one asked you, butler boy. <laughs> Don't be a snitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, let me get you to roll to see if you can pull some the appropriate reparations out of your bag. Let's get let's get 2d6 on, uh, on wisdom. Sweet. Can I aid him on this? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's him. Or seven. Just five seven. All right, cool. Um, so he says, "Oh, those are those are most of the correct reparations, but you've left Mom. out a few key ingredients." He says, uh, "I beg you, leave this place. Though nothing I can do to stop you." Okay. Well, can't All go right, back bye. to farming without my <laughs> Peace. Hop back on the wall. <laughs> So do y'all uh, just shove Joffrey aside and walk in, or how do you? How Excuse do you... us, Joffrey. I give him I, uh, a quick love kiss and keep walking. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I'm gonna pull a sandwich out of my adventuring gear and hand it to him. Mom <laughs> <laughs> Da says not to give him food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so are you, are you just trying to like Snickers him right now? <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he takes the sandwich and he puts it up to his mouth, uh, <laughs> and it immediately turns to ash as soon as it hits his lips. And he just starts breaking down and crying. And he says, I miss food so much. And I tried. Uh, he cripples against the wall uh, in, in a fetal position. I tried. Okay, Joffrey. No use ever crying Great, about Great, Danica. You made him depressed. I tried. You gave the man depression. Uh, uh, out of curiosity, I'm going to try to French him. 
<laughs> let me let me get you to roll Wait, on. Hold uh... on, hold on. You're not gonna oh, roll no. for the slut here, are you? <laughs> That's not gonna I'm, happen, right? I'm just no, curious Mike, Mike if my tongue will smut. turn to ash. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's all about letting the smut happen. So, so he's yeah. he's on the he's on the floor uh, in the fetal position. You're basically taking advantage at this point. Um, <laughs> I think he's okay with that though. That's what it seems yeah. to be. So let let me get. Well, I I want you to roll basically defy danger on this actually. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can I aid him? Can yeah. I aid him? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Okay. I mean, if you really want to be drawn into his his, his problems, go right ahead. <laughs> I'm afraid to press this button. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. oh my god! Sweet. <laughs> We're yeah. both fantastically underprepared for this. So you, uh. Ha Hold on, wait. Is that plus bonds? Yeah. Damn it, never mind. <laughs> I'm curious now, now. How are you aiding him? <laughs> I was gonna pull him away! <laughs> that, that's how I was gonna aid him! <laughs> okay. Stopping him! Yeah, Actually, yeah. Just ends up pushing him further into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fanfic so, coming uh, true. <laughs> Fanfic. So as, as as you go to lean in for the I kiss, I haven't been able to read it in a while. Yeah, he, as as you go to lean in for the kiss, uh, he uh, he sort of just starts turning into this uh, this goo. Uh, his whole body starts turning into goo, and it starts latching itself to you. Um, and because Meep was going to pull you away and uh, still has a hold of your loincloth or horns or whatever she grabbed, um, <laughs> right? Uh, it starts attaching itself uh, to Meep as well, and so this this sticky component is um, starting to envelop you, uh, and it's starting to um, like acid, sort of let it burn you. Um, Does Jebediah get to roll to see if he's into it? Damn it, horny <laughs> bastard! <laughs> I've never seen Joffrey do that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is an unholy place for sure. Um, <laughs> you're both going to take four damage uh, while that's happening. Do, do do the other two of you do anything while this is happening? I'm watching with mild curiosity. Sure. I look away. For... <laughs> <laughs> looking away? I'm looking away. Yeah, cool. I'm respectfully looking away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this. I didn't ask for a threesome. Yeah. So, so, so as trying to be all, faithful to my above ground lover. So while you're all being covered in this sticky, acidic tar and nastiness, um, about that time, uh, Nats shows up. Uh, and hey buddy, uh, long time to see. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nats is like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Nats, uh, Nats sort of chitters uh, to Meep uh, and conveys. Um, that uh, Nats is willing to help, but uh, only if Nats gets like double treats and, apo and an apology. <laughs> yeah, you apologize to him. Of course, I, will, just I am in on sorry, it. Nats. Yeah, and you will get as many treats as you like. Yeah, and then then uh, Nats spits on Nats' hand and asks for a, a binding contract. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Wait. We're involving can, can spit you... into it too because it wasn't weird enough before. Can you um. Yeah, there's so many liquids going on here. <laughs> You've got to reach out your hand and grab Nat's hand. <laughs> wait, wait, little, little squirrel read, spit hand. Can she read the book about contracts with uh, fire beasts in the, the demon realm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just shake the squirrel's hand. At this point, it's just like there's no saving you. Just okay, do but what it. if he gets my body in the end? <laughs> what? <laughs> then what do I do? Okay, well, you have a point there. Yeah, so, so, so uh, Danica, are you looking up, uh, like, uh, Fire Squirrel Contractory? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, th there's limited information, but basically the, uh, the, uh, the contract says that if you, uh, if, if you don't make good on the contract uh, that you make with, uh, with fire animals in general, um, then uh, what's left of your soul is uh, burned up and consumed by them, uh, adding to their power. Okay. My God, it's no! Don't do it. Can you know how many fire animals you're... we encounter? Your squirrel is like the cat, like the cats from like Madoka Magica. <laughs> Dear God, basically. Ned says, "Do you want to be a magical girl?" <laughs> Hell yeah! Jeb's like, "Ooh, I do." <laughs> I want to be a magical girl. 
But, but uh, my contract's just that I, I give him an apology and the treats, right? That's yeah, and double treats, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Nat, that's fine. Nat, Nats, is, Nats is a squirrel of simple desire. He is. But you said all other fire creatures, which is what, get, what that's what bothers me. Yeah, no, yeah. No. if any, if you make a contract with any okay. fire creature. All right, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were just saying that they all had to have treats. <laughs> no, so you gotta no, go down it's, the ravine it's, it's, and it's give them the possum. I've enslaved to all the fire demon yeah. animals now. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you make the contract, um, and then uh, Nats sort of uh, sets the liquid ablaze with his, uh, with his fire squirrelness. Um, and it all burns off of you, uh, sort of instantly, and, and, and vaporizes. Uh, and seemingly, um, uh, Joffrey has been disposed of. But as that happens, you notice the uh, the silhouette of Joffrey reform on the side of the wall. Let's get moving. <laughs> yeah, I feel really bad about the sandwich. Yeah. I was just trying to help. Yeah. Bye, I think I'm gonna leave that one alone. Yeah. <laughs> it's an X for a reason. I'm gonna I'm gonna hug Nats. Yeah. From a nice hug. Yeah. Nats, Missed you, buddy. Nat, Nat sort of just uh, pushes you away and, uh, <laughs> and and conveys to you in his squirrel language, uh, just the treats, ma'am. <laughs> just treats. <laughs> He's witnessed too much. He doesn't trust people to, to, to keep their bodies away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what he's going to do harat, uh, molest the squirrel. Come yeah. on now. Oh, he's he's kind of a natural, you know. <laughs> don't, don't, you have, don't you have history though? Or was that a different character? What now? With Nat? Does, no, the, there wasn't there a squirrel um seduction or was that Stan yeah. and No, no, so yeah, in the very first game actually there was a there was a, 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 a like an anti-squirrel um that the enchantress yeah. had that um Lynn's character. Um, oh, okay, different person. Am- right. Yeah, Amanita turned into a squirrel to, for some seduction. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, because he, he went he went into detail about. It I knew there was some squirrel seduction, yeah. so I was like, you know, Nats might have a point. Yeah. He went um, into detail about his nuts. Yeah, he, he went into detail about his nuts. <laughs> um, okay. So, but that was a that was a really not that long ago for me, but that was a you know a different time. Um, so, anyways, you guys are passing through the gate then, I presume. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Bye, Joffrey. I don't yeah. know about you, but I don't. I'm not the kind of guy to sit around for eternal damnation. But have fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, well, jo- jo- Joffrey is almost like he's, he's stonework now. So I don't. It's possible he doesn't. He know heard me. I don't know. He heard, he heard you. Yeah. Um, he's like a fucking asshole. So yeah. <laughs> um, I hate that kid. <laughs> <laughs> You, kick for me. You make your way into the next room, and there before you stands uh, a figure uh, who's seemingly guarding uh, whatever is beyond it. Um, Danica, you can tell that this is one of the two big magics, uh, and both of them are in this room. Um, and so as you gaze upon his uh, visage, um, he's sort of this uh, hooded, armored, clad, sickle toting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, beast, creature, demon, person, whatever. Um, surrounded by uh, this sort of mist of, of uh, lost souls, uh, angry lost souls. Um, and so as you stand before him, uh, he uh, looks up and he, he sees uh, the four of you. And um, he uh, only addresses Jeb. He says, you, demon, why have you brought these mortals into this holy sanctuary? They're friends. <laughs> pull, your, uh, pull your mic down. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and he says, You know that it is forbidden by demonic law for, your, for yourself to associate with those of the mortal realm. They are but the worms beneath our feet. I mean, that one's pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't studied much of this demon law. I've been working the farm, you see. He says, that is the problem with you bumpkin demons. You just don't know any better. I shall put you in your place. Uh, you gonna put me back on the farm? <laughs> It was a long walk, sir. If you wouldn't <laughs> mind, I'm just here for a hoe. Come on. Cool. Um, do, do you? Do either any of the rest of you address him as he's sort of in his pompous arrogance, talking to only Jeb? Can I pop a potion while he's talking? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do I need to roll for this? Uh, two d six. 
Uh, and that's just for what you, what you heal for. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. Can I roll charisma to see if, you know, like to convince him that I'm worthy? Uh, you, I mean, you can attempt. Sure. Wow. An 11. Cool. <laughs> so, um, you're still the worm beneath his feet. So, uh, <laughs> he's just not going to kill you on the spot, right? So here, here's now you're oh. a golden <laughs> so worm beneath his what, feet. <laughs> right. What, what do you, what, what do you, what do you say to him? I explained how I died. Like, you know, the magics that I was learning above ground and, sure. you know, kind of impressed by my staff. Yep. A little. Like, you know, obviously I don't have much clout, but I maybe I have mortal clout in the underworld. He says, uh, he looks at you and he says, um, I didn't even know your kind could speak with any intelligence. I'm impressed that you're even able to converse with me. Good on you. Now return to the to the gravel where you belong. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> hey, he he talked to you with it and didn't immediately attack you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but uh, he he's, he's he sort of is getting agitated and he says, uh, "Leave now, or I will take my vengeance upon all of you." <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Bueller. I'm just like shaking my head, like no, no. Cool. But everyone else needs it. Someone, someone needs to I say something. Come on. To someone behind us because they're interrupting. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh. He takes his uh, he takes his sickle, raises it in the air, and uh, takes a pretty big swing. If I could get everyone to roll, defy danger. Uh, Sweet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Dex. Sweet. Dex or uh, Con. No, I got a Sweet. three. <laughs> Okay. Got a four. I thought got we were a. cool, man. I thought we were cool. Yeah. I got the A. What did uh? Yep. I'm good. Hey, look at that. So, <laughs> Meep being short, it, it <laughs> doesn't I get hit. I duck. I'm like, y'all hear something? Doesn't get hit by the circle. <laughs> um, so uh, Ignis has still stepped back just a little bit uh, because he's trying to converse with the wall, I guess. Um, and uh, so he's only grazed by the sickle uh, but both Danica and Jeb uh, take a pretty healthy slice from the sickle itself um, so uh, the uh, the two of you um, are going to take uh, some amount of damage nine damage Deduct I feel like that was the opposite of healthy <laughs> deduct your armor from that uh, and then um, no then Ignis is going to take just two damage. <coughs> damage. Um, yep. Um, and uh, with that, he's uh, sort of engaging you in battle. At this time, the um, the wall behind you, uh, where the uh, the sort of everything we think was melted into the wall, uh, closes up. It all sort of like um, binds <coughs> together, and you are now sort of trapped in the room with this uh, this, this nice little fellow right here. Sweet. So what does anyone do? I need to drink a health potion in the corner and stay away from that guy for a second. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> because if not, I will be you're dead attractive. Yet. Huh? Don't kill me. <laughs> you're quite pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got five back, so... Yep, alright. So what is, uh... <laughs> so, Meep, you, you were completely unscathed by this. What are you doing? I mean, we gotta fight this guy. Is there any way we can take the bodies and go? <laughs> he, the, 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 the portal is still in the distance behind him, so, I mean, I, I guess you could try and not fight him. Run for it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an enclosed room. He'll, he'll definitely chase you down. You, cause you've got to find a way to get out of the room, too. Can I come on to him to distract him? You can try. <laughs> Trying to buy y'all some me. opportunity. <laughs> Seven. Cool. So, um, tell me how you try and come on to him. Uh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's hear the let's, let's hear the Jebediah's best pickup line here. Okay, let me give me a second to come up with something. That was a mighty fine cut you gave me. 
I'd like a slice of that pie too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he is distracted, not because he's turned on, but because he's disgusted, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so he sort of he sort of uh, recoils back uh, and uh, is repulsed, um, and um, so that that does open up an opportunity. Uh, he. Uh, so certainly, uh, the next person or two to act against them could get a plus one on their roll of advantage. So, uh... Alright, I guess I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a called shot. Yeah, okay. Going Wait. for the head. Cool. <laughs> and that is an 11. Sweet, that's nice. awesome. This is gonna happen earlier than I expected. Um, <laughs> yeah. Take cool. that! So, so you, you're shooting the head, right? So as you as you shoot the head, um, it uh, let me do the damage thing. Yep. So uh, his hood knocks back, and um, you can tell it's a magical hood because it's knocked back. It reveals a lot more than what was going on inside that small space of the head that you could see, um, and it reveals his true face. Uh, and when you see his true face, uh, it's certainly more demonic than what the the original hood would have. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask him to put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but No, no, no. It's just now getting good. No, no. Uh, <laughs> inter interestingly enough, when Jeb sees the hood go away, Jeb recognizes this demon. Jeb, you recognize one of your 200 siblings. It is George W. Groken. Well, I'll be damned. So why are you trying Coming to... Coming on to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was repulsed. <laughs> that yeah. explains a lot. Now, you you haven't seen him in like 2,000 years, so... Since you were first born, really. Fair enough. Uh, so so you, do you call him out on, on, on knowing him, then? Yes, without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, so, George, or George George, uh, looks at you and he says, uh, Jeb, you always were a disgrace of the family. I've been working this station for 1,000 years. And I'll not have you ruin it. I'm working my way up the Demon Senate. I will be the Demon President one day. I mean, you could have at least come to say hi. Why would I? I got food. You, I want to come on to you. You married a lowly ogre. Oh, what? You really think I'm hitting that? Come on. <laughs> I would have exploded years ago. He says, oh, Jeb, we know all about your... Mortal fetish. Uh, oh. What? Wait, wait, hold on. How dare you, now? sir? Is he kink shaming now? Yeah, he is. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Do you have any of that? I have a male genitalia fetish. Thank you very much. He's George W. Crokin. Of course, he's gonna <laughs> kink shame. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's fighting his daddy's war, right? Uh, so he's got daddy issues. Yeah, now we know the weakness. We yeah. don't even need a book for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, go for the abandonment issues. That's the weak spot. So what's uh, what's Ignis doing in all of this? Uh, Ignis is gonna take the opportunities given to him to make a burning brand. All right. A sword. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Nice. Hell right. yeah! You it's the biggest mess. sword you've ever seen. Yeah, so you, <laughs> you get to do some things with that sword too. So tell me about it. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna give it plus one damage. And I don't know what mean giving it hand means. <laughs> it gets the hand tag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Tag means. That's what Jebediah was trying to do to him. Are you, are you getting that shaft from Serious Hand? I guess. You know. Oh, no. Take this now. I, I don't know. 18. Like, just, <laughs> just, like, I guess listen, I'll give him a hand. Listen, listen Ignis, give, give it some hand till it burns, all right? It's already oh. on fire, though. I know. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna roll damage now. Sure you will. Sure you will. Hey. Wow. Is are you are, underwhelming? You're you're a little inept with the hand job. <laughs> um. Anyways, so tell me. How you, tell, it's a lot more pleasure and a little less pain. Yeah. T tell me how you give him a scratch. Uh, I went for like the back of his knee. <laughs> oh knees. Oh the knees. Yeah, yeah. So, but he's he's a little armor plated down there. So you uh. You just you, you barely do any damage. Uh, he he doesn't notice it really. Um, so, but you feel good about it, right? You feel like it was a solid hit, for sure. sure. Yeah. 
Um, so, uh, Danica, you, you've got some of the, the the healing going on now. What are you What are you doing? You know what? Magic missile. That's kind of my go-to for yeah, actual you, yeah, you hitting can't, stuff. You can't do that though. Oh, I still can't do that. No. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to hit him with my staff then, because that's all I can really do. Poke him with a stick seems to be popular. <laughs> all right. Pokey pokey. Let's see. What um, what am I rolling on strength? Yeah. Oh fuck. Um, <laughs> seven. Hey, oh, I mean, that's a, you, you will connect. Go ahead and roll for damage. All right, and what am I rolling for damage on this? Okay, a d4. All right. And You're I get a one, too. Your damage is a d4? Yeah. Wow, it sucks to be a wizard. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, so you do a d4, yeah? Okay, cool. Um, tell him how you, you annoy him with your stick. <laughs> I go up to the other back of the knee, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so uh, he, he swats at you as though you were a fly, um, catching you with the backside of his hand uh, and doing some amount of damage. Um, it's, it's the full amount. Uh, <laughs> some amount of damage, all of it. Yeah, he's well. He's like a he's like you know sort of a demon you know party member or whatever. Anyways, uh, you get knocked back against the wall uh, and fall to the floor. Uh, in the uh, in the attack there. Really um, wish someone had healing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's uh, what's what's Jeb up to? Uh, Ask him what his kinks are, since he wants to kink shame. <laughs> yeah, no. Jeb was still planning on talking while everyone else was uh, beating the crap out of him. Or getting the crap uh, out of them. <laughs> but I'm curious if I can pull out like uh, old relic or something of our fathers to distract him with. Out of my adventuring kit. Yeah, um, I would, cause that's like a, it's it's it'd be pretty Deus Ex Machina to do so. So take a minus one to that roll. Uh, yeah, just roll roll minus one. All right. Yeah, I don't got <laughs> nothing. Yeah, yeah, you uh, <laughs> you you pull out a uh, a um, it's like a peace pipe, and you. Uh, <laughs> You, you tell him, like, ah, oh, this is our daddy's. Don't you remember the good old times with our daddy? Uh, <laughs> and uh, he uh, he raises his hand uh, and uh, shoots a fireball at it, uh, incinerating it. And uh, you take some splash damage from that, um, which is two, two fire damage. Um, so uh, what is uh, what is Meep up to? I guess I'm going to do another shot. Cool. Um... I guess I'll go for the head again. Alright. I like headshots. So there's Jebediah. That's a six. <laughs> yep. Cool. So you uh you fire the arrow, um, and um just before it hits his head, um, he sort of uh looks at it and it stops right in front of his face. Um and uh he reverses it uh with you know mind powers or whatever uh, <laughs> and sends it flying right back at you uh, and he says I'll not fall for the same trick twice um, and uh, your arrow hits you for three damage um, where does it hit you at? I'm gonna say it goes into my arm alright, alright, cool All right. so you take an arrow to the arm, take three mm -hmm. damage deduct your uh, armor from that um, meanwhile uh, Ignis, what's happening? Uh, we're gonna take another swing with my sword. All right. What do I roll for that? Do I roll anything? Uh, or do I roll yeah, yeah. You, you'll roll with your uh, like your, your normal damage. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Roll two d six. Two d six for your. Uh, sorry, start over. Oh, I, I've already made the brand. So right. I don't have to... But now you're rolling for attack, right? You're rolling for hack and slash. Oh, okay. Yeah. So eight. All right. So yeah. Okay. So then and then roll for damage. After, well, you already rolled for damage for three. Oh. Well. Okay. We'll, we'll take the three. I, had the plus one. I have a plus one damage to it. Yeah, so we'll do four total. All right, yep. so, yeah, you're going to do uh, four damage with your sword. Tell me where and how you hit him. Uh, we're going to we're gonna hack him on the thigh. We're, we're just working our way up. All right, <laughs> cool. Um, all right, so, yeah, you, ca you catch him in the thigh. Uh, he notices a little, a little bit more than your, your last attack. Um, and um, he... Uh, as you hack him in the thigh, uh, he, he brings his knee up, catching you in the in the face, 
uh, knocking you back. Um, and uh, you can take just a little bit of damage on that, so six. All yeah, the damage. All the damage on that. Um, so uh, you take six damage and it knocks you back a couple of steps. Um, and then uh, we cycle back around to Danica. You're pulling yourself up off the floor, I think, when you, you knock back. Yep. I most certainly have to take a healing potion or I'm going to be dead dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many more uses of your uh, your adventuring gear do you have? <laughs> well, after this, only one more. Okay, cool. Uh, and then know your 2d6 for uh, for healing. Nine. I'm right. back up to nine. You're back up to nine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and then, uh, Jeb, what's uh, what's happening? Well, you forced me to do it. I'm gonna punch him. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Where you punch him? That's all I got. Well, how tall is he compared to me? I assume we're maybe not the same height. He's probably taller since he's stronger. Yeah, he seems like a foot taller. All right, cool. I'm gonna punch him in the gut. All right, cool. All right, so roll for some. Uh, yeah. Woo! Eight. Yep, yeah. and then roll for some damage. Three. All yeah. Right, cool. Um. So. Do some math. Yep. All right, cool. So tell me how you punch him. Well, uh, I'm just gonna take a wild swing downwards and be like, I really don't want to hurt you, and just kind of pull the punch a little bit right before I hit him. Yeah. Um, so as you hit him in the stomach, uh, it does do some damage to him, uh, but he also, um, headbutts you, uh, right in the face, um, when he, uh, when you do, the, when you do so, um, and you take, uh, just two, two damage, look at that, yeah. Uh, you have already as well. Ah, things, cheap right? shot. Yeah. Um, he says, <laughs> um, he says, leave me alone, you... You and your puny horns, you have amounted to nothing. Do you not see the size of my massive horns? It is the uh, the display of my power and 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 wealth in this world. Uh, as he knocks you back, he's still being sort of an arrogant prick. Um, so, uh, Meep, what's up? Um. Man, I guess. I guess I'll take out my sword and I'll go in for the stabby on his legs. <laughs> I mean, Meep, you could get your body back if you just married him. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, as, as we established in the fiction with uh, Jeb's uh, ogre wife, uh, when you marry a demon, you also get your, your so your, well, your body stops decaying at that point anyways. Let me just let me just get this started, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but he doesn't yeah, seem no. he doesn't seem to have the same mortal fetish that Jeb does either. So there's yeah. That. Right, right, right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the stabby. We yeah. have some yeah. relationship problems. That's an eight. Cool, and then we'll put some damage. Stabs seductively. Just <laughs> <laughs> wink at him while I'm doing it. <laughs> You I mean, just two birds with one you. stone. If he doesn't die, maybe, maybe you can, maybe you got a shot. I don't know. <laughs> your your combat skills. All right. To so lure him. So, yep. All right. So you're doing five damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. So describe the uh, the attack to to the leg there. So, uh, Meep is uh, looks looks down at Nats and is like, "You want to do something?" And he's just like, "No." And then so she's like, "All right, fine." And then Meep just takes out the sword and runs up and stabs him in the calf. Cool. Um, so he, he definitely, uh, when you stab him in the calf this time, um, he sort of uh, falls to one knee. Um, but at the same time, he puts his hand over you. Uh, and you feel this He's immense... He's hugging me. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 Yes, in a sense. So you feel this intense gravitational power that drags you directly to the ground. Um it's sort of like gravity magic. So oh, we're moving he, fast. He's he's he's, <laughs> he's, hugging, he's hugging you with the ground, sure. Uh, and uh, you take uh, three damage um, uh, as you sort of like are now pinned to the ground. Uh, this magic is holding you in place uh, at the moment. Um, so um, can I talk to him? Well, well, right now, your 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 lung your windpipe is being crushed, right? So you're okay. The, oh, okay, the, never mind. Still, you might can talk to him it. if someone saves you or something. I don't okay. Know. Awesome. Right. Um, Try it. 
So, uh, where are we? At Ignis, I believe? So, uh, Ignis, what's happening? We will swing again. Like <laughs> <laughs> Garen, just to be going around. Yeah. Nine. Alright, so yeah, and then roll for damage. Seven. Cool, cool. This time I want to try and, like, jump up and hit one of his horns. Take it off. Okay, yeah. alright, cool. He's making a lot of talk about how you like your horns, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you, you, uh, you jump up and you, uh, you swing at the horn, uh, and you, you put, uh, like, a sizable sort of, like, um, like, scratch slash even slight indentation into the horn as you hit it. Um, and, um, because he's sort of preoccupied by holding Meep down, um, uh, you do a little extra damage. If you want to roll an additional, uh, D4, I'll do some damage to him. Yep. Two additional damage. So, all right, cool. Um, but, um... When you do that, uh, he uh, he definitely is pretty enraged. Um, he he jerks his head, and the horn uh, slightly impales you, um, and uh, then you fall back though. Um, so it catches you sort of like in the upper chest region, uh, knocking you to the ground, uh, and then you're gonna take um, one damage on that. So and you can do your little your little healy trick. Look at that. Um, and, uh, yeah, do the maths. So. <laughs> the Impale of Healing. <laughs> right, cool. Yep. Um, so, Danica, how's it going? Boring as it is, I'm about to just empty out my adventuring pack and be like, well, if you're not going to use it. <laughs> and, alright, so that gets me up to 13. Alright, and... I'm just over here just chugging potions in the corner. <laughs> They're all having the fight of their life, and you're like, Ah, healing! <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool over here, guys. You got that? Great, great. I'm not helping. I'm going to have to. Me I'm going to eat. Meanwhile, meat but can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, I was uh, at a nine. I could have gotten dead in deader instantly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Jeb, what are, you, uh, what are you up to? Well... Jeb really doesn't want to hurt him, but he's going to have to. So he's going to take hold on one side of the horn and try to snap it off. All right. All right. Cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, roll on strength for that. That's a nine. Okay. And roll for some damage. Two. <laughs> you ain't breaking it off. I'm sorry. Um, so you do. You grab the horn, uh, and you go to sort of like to, to break it. Um, and um, it, it does... So you see a little crack form uh, where uh, Ignis had already sort of hit it. Um, and uh, this definitely breaks his concentration enough to, like, uh, loosen his hold on Meep. Meep's able to sort of, like, breathe again. Um, and Harder! <laughs> 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 this is turning into the fetish game. <laughs> uh, um, and he definitely takes some of the damage. Um, but uh, sort of at... Um, at this time, uh, he uh, he takes his fist and just punches Jeb right in the face. Right, he's he's mad. He's he's a, he's, a, he's at the level of just brawling at the point um, now. Jeb, you're gonna take um, ba -ba -da -ba -da eight damage because the Jesus dice Christ. the dice are mean today. <laughs> um, and uh, he takes his his little two damage, but he's he's, he's mad, definitely mad. And Meep's up now. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And Meep, now that you're up, what are you doing? After I'm yelling harder. <laughs> and I'm gonna stab it into his foot. Cool. <laughs> All right. Stick him to the ground. All right. You're gonna stay right there, buddy. Let's roll to see if you can do that. I hope I can. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a six. <laughs> yep. So, uh, as you stand up, uh, and um, he's just sort of hit Jeb in the face, um, and as he's hit Jeb in the face, Jeb stumbles over and falls on top of you. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Jeb, if you could roll some damage against me, that'd be cool. Oh my god! Fantastic. Yeah. Of oh course. My god. Yeah, sure. Um, so as you fall on top of Meep with your your large demon body, and sort of uh, Meep is now once again on the ground, um, <laughs> under under the massive weight of a demon. To but be fair, you said you liked it rough from Meep, demons, so Meep. it's kind of your own fault. Yeah, Meep did say harder, so <laughs> yeah. she yeah. did get harder. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, Ignis, what, what are you up to? Uh, I'm gonna use my last charge on my brand. Yeah. Nope. 
No. Yeah. So yeah, you. Uh, what were you attempting to do? Uh, strike him. Okay. In, in particular. No. Okay. Yeah. So as you go to sort of um, drop my pin in the floor. Yep. It's gonna be hard to do the maths. As you go to like uh, impale him, uh, thr thrust your um, thing into him, uh, your brand dissipates as it sort of almost enters his body. Um, and I need a pen. There we go. All right. So, um, and uh, as you do it, he uh, grabs you by the head with his sort of massive demon claws and um, literally tosses you against the nearest wall. Uh, and you take uh, two damage on that um, as he does so. Uh, so, uh, Danica, what are you doing? Can't do magic missile, so I guess I'm just going to try to stab him with the staff again, you know, Ooh. because I uh, I failed so hard talking to him, I'm not going to take Meep's lead and call him daddy, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you call him daddy. <laughs> um, I got a three, so that doesn't work either. Yay! Cool, yeah. Uh, this this guy's getting pretty mad right now. Um, <laughs> so, um, as, uh, he's just flown, uh, Ignis across the room, um, and you're coming up him, up to, like, pokey pokey him with your, uh, with your stick, um, and, uh, he sort of just, like, looks down at you, trying to poke him, and you're doing absolutely nothing, um, uh, and he opens his mouth and breathes sort of this, like, foul, noxious, um, Ew. uh, like, uh, miasma on top of you. Um, sort of, like, greenish-brown color. Gross. Um, you, yeah. You take, brush you, his teeth. <laughs> yeah, you, you take an initial two damage, and you're poisoned. You're gonna take, uh, one, one damage, uh, for every roll, uh, going forward at the moment. Cool. Yep. So. Um. I'm not going to stay alive very long, but okay. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb, <laughs> Please, what's... God, someone tell me there's a way to heal me. But... Je Jeb, what are you doing? Well, Jeb's quite injured, too, so he's going to roll off the side of Meep and use his last uh, adventuring gear to pull out a health potion. Yeah, okay. All right. Fantastic. Uh, everything's so good. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then, uh, then, then Meep. You know what? I'm gonna follow my, my good buddy Jebediah here, and I'm gonna also pull out a, a potion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're fighting against him. Little, the, the little does he know, we're actually all chugging Listerine because we were reminded that we need to check ourselves after we right. smelled that awful smell. Yeah. <laughs> so, about this time, he's, 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 uh, gotten back up to his feet, um, and, um, he holds his, his pretty little stone that he's got. Um, he holds it up and he starts chanting an incantation. And it starts glowing. Oh! No. Um, me meanwhile, what is uh, Ignis doing? Well, I'm all out of uh, brand uses and I don't have any weapons. Is there any fire anywhere? Yeah, yeah. We'll say there's it's like hell, this, so this, probably. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like some torches around the room and stuff. So. Uh, I want to try it like. Make a little flame geyser to try and knock the stone out of his hand. Okay. Maybe, maybe send his fingers in doing so. Sure. Got a six. Uh, cool. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> dice are just not kind today. That, that's about how it's going today. Yep. <laughs> so, Mitch is going to die in the past. Right. We're all going to die. So as you, as you send the flames up, well, see, here's, here's what happens, right? So as you send the flames up, uh, and they, uh, they go to hit his hand, and what happens is the, uh, the stone draws the flames in to itself uh, and starts to glow even brighter and more red uh, oh. in the process. Um, yeah. Uh, Danica, what are you doing? Okay, well, one, I have to take one fire damage, uh, well, not fire, one poison damage because that breath, though. Um, and I guess I'm going to try to poke him again with stick because cool. that's been working well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, actually, it's a nine. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. You got a poke Much you. better. Yeah, and then roll for some damage. All four Oh, damage. one. Yeah. <laughs> so you yet again poke him with a stick. <laughs> where, do you, where, where do you poke him? It's one damage. I'm not going to get to his pride. It's not going to be the horn. So it's just going to, I guess, still at the back of that knee because, like, that's the only place I can reach with yeah, a one damage. 
<laughs> you, uh... Eventually it'll work. Maybe if I don't die first. Maybe you'll get uh, that full four damage in. Yeah, you, you definitely, you definitely like whack him with a stick. Uh, he seems to. Mo I mean, he does take a little bit of damage on it, but he he, he doesn't even acknowledge that something's happening. Um, and uh, I don't want acknowledgement right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly your 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 uh, your ego is a little damaged, um, and um, you'll, you'll take a minus one on your next roll uh, from okay. from just being sad about your in, in, inability to do anything. I'm getting poisoned and I'm humiliated. Cool. Yeah, this is how it goes, right? Uh, Jeb, <laughs> Jeb, Jeb, what's happening? Well, Jeb's gonna hop up and I'm uh, gonna try and break his concentration by snapping that horn. Hopefully, this time it works. Yeah. Yeah, that's ten. Cool. And then uh, roll for damage. And do you want to roll the extra d4? No, nah, I'm good with the eight. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Um. So you're gonna snap the horn off. Uh, tell me how you snap the horn off, and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss what happens next. All right, I'm gonna be like, all right, that's enough. I'm gonna grasp the horn right by the tip again, and I'm just gonna bring my hammer down, just full, just, just right on that crack. All right, cool. Um, so you definitely uh, snap his horn off. He cries out in pain, uh, and he sort of like yells, "Enough!" And he holds the stone as high as he can, and he yells. Ignition, right? Um, and so it's hot and fresh out the kitchen. I yeah. was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, when he does so, I need everyone to roll two uh, d6 on defy danger. You can mm. do so with your constitution or your dexterity. That's oh, that's a that's a three. That's a uh, nine. That's an eleven. Cool. And I got a poison damage. And then uh, Ignis got a seven. Uh, eight. eight. Okay. All right. So, um, all right, cool. So, uh, if you got a 10 plus, then no worries. You are unaffected. Um, uh, but well, I'll tell you what happens. So he says ignition and a massive burst of flame shoots out in all directions, uh, from this stone. Um, so, uh, Jib, how did, how did you, how did you, uh, dodge or, or just endure the flame? I'm a demon. I'm used to it. Yeah. I just stand there, just hold the horn out to protect my face. It's my only good feature. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and then uh, both uh, Meep and Ignis got the 7 to 9 rolls, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you guys just got a little charred. You're going to take just uh, two two damage on that. Um, so tell me uh, how that happens, how you sort of like mostly are unscathed. Uh, I try to control some of the flames to kind of go around me. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna duck and we'll sit <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. And then that brings us to Danica. With a two. With a two, yeah. So I'm gonna roll and we'll see what happens. So it's wow, a six. That's Just a six. Better than. Okay. Better than with... 20. <laughs> I'm left with a three health. Yeah, oh my gosh. you're alive. So, you know, it could have been worse. Um, he wants to force feed me a health potion or whatever, you know that's cool too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so after the burst, the, the gem he's holding uh, grows sort of like looks like it grows dormant uh, and in cold. There's no light or energy seeming to pulse from it, um, and he sort of like tosses it to the ground, um, and uh, he uh, he's looking pretty angry and mad. Um, he sort of uh, is breathing. Um, Fumes out of his out of his uh, mouth. Uh, they're just leaking out. His eyes are glowing bright red. Um, you know, he's got a few cuts and bruises and scrapes. He's not looking, you know, like in the best condition. What uh, What are you doing, Meep? I'm gonna give Danica a potion because I'm having war flashbacks right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. All right. So you you uh, are you just like handing it to her? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just like roll it. <laughs> Thank <her>. you. Cool. <laughs> All right. So. You need a book? Let me know. I still have those. Yeah, go, go ahead and roll for your your uh, healing as well, Danica. While you're. Oh, yeah, okay. Well. Um, that brings me back up to a seven. Cool. All right. Oh awesome. God. <laughs> yeah. So, I Ignis, what are you up to? You you said that there were fumes coming out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's breathing. Like there's fire inside of him. Oh, uh, he's a demon. There could be fire inside of him. Sure. 
I want to attempt to, like, make him hold his, like, catch his breath in his throat. Yeah. Make him choke. Yeah. Yeah, we got that, uh, that ten. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Um, alright, so, uh, what do you want to do? I want to try and, like, hold in the fumes and the fire, kind of just start suffocating him almost. Maybe he takes a little damage. Cool, cool. Alright. Um, yeah, then, um, let me get you to, um, let's see. Alright, cool. Let me get you to roll, um, a d12 for damage. A d12? Yep. Six. Yep, cool. Alright. So yeah, yeah. Uh, describe to me how, how like, uh, I mean, what, what, what is his reaction? Do you, do you think? What, what is? How's, he how's starts it? coughing and sputtering, trying to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Uh, so he's definitely like choking on his on sort of his own uh, internal uh, flame. Um, this would uh, um, probably give. Uh, he, he, I would say he's prone even. So um, being being prone um, would. Uh, the other three of you uh, could freely roll for damage if you wanted to. Okay, well, hell yeah. Yeah. Are we all doing it? Yeah, you just... can. Yeah, I mean, he's, okay. he's, he's completely like, he can't do anything right now. I finally yeah, rolled for five. Well. I got a three. Eight. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so you're gonna, uh, you're gonna sort of destroy him. So if you could all describe your attacks to me, where you're hitting him and how you're hitting him. Meets taking off her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> for, for me, I uh, I mustered just what little strength I had at my seven poison self, and I and I grabbed the staff and one last just uh, <laughs> right whack. into the same spot. I'm, so I'm a, over the times you've stabbed it repeatedly. I'm gonna take yeah. his horn, put it on the back of his head, and be like, "Too bad, you seem nice," and then punch the horn into him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, cool. But you retrieve it, right? <laughs> so uh, you all do that, um, and uh, he uh, he yells out. Uh, the, the flames just come spilling out of his mouth uh, as you sort of destroy him. Uh, he falls to the grain, ground, uh, catches on fire, and starts sort of um, burning uh, to smolders. Um, and uh, so uh, with that. Uh, he is he is then sort of defeated. Um, something interesting happens as soon as he is as soon as, soon as it happens. Um, Jebediah's horns uh, grow to a pretty sizable um, uh, length and, and width, um, having oh, just defeated. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's it seems as though the, the world of demons is much like Highlander. You know, when you when you kill them, you get their power. Um, I'm gonna need a bigger hat. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, uh, and he sort of like wastes away nothing to ash. Um, and then, uh, from behind, uh, enters, um, another one. Yeah, another oh, one. It's uh, your other cousin. <laughs> there's, there's only 199 more to go through, um, <laughs> in the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, no, so out, out steps, uh, a, um, Another sort of like acolyte, just to sort of like dude in robes. Um, and Master, he's... are you done? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he looks at Jeb and he says, uh, "You are now the new master of this sanctuary. What is your bidding?" I need a hoe. <laughs> cool. So he <laughs> says, "Will that be all for now, sir?" Uh, th these guys need some bodies too. And so he, he kind of looks. He looks at them and he says, "You would have mortals bathe in the holy portal." Yeah, they're good folk. They've been helping me out on the farm. He says, "And you know the consequences." No. <laughs> um. So he kind of he kind of imparts to you, I guess, uh, that um, the uh, the the the, the uh. The, the portal, the magic portal, is basically the, like the power source that's powering the local area. Um, it's providing magical power, much like electricity, to homes and 
businesses and things like that. Um, and that if mortals uh, sort of uh, bathe in the portal, um, like, so mortal souls and magic are, are distinctly different from magic, uh, demon souls and magic. So that they're going to sort of taint the pool and they're going to render the, uh, the magic um, sort of um, uh, dirty, muddy. It'd be, it'd be like getting like like bad muddy power it's like you brown out stuff like that it's going to cause some problems uh and it'll take roughly a hundred years to purify the power source so that ain't too bad cool all right so um and he says and for the for the hoe you seek uh would you like a harem of hoes or do you want a specific hoe no 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 <laughs> see i gotta get back to my farm but my hoe broke, so I'm needing something a little bit more extravagant, something that won't break quite as easily. His, oh, under the pressure of being 3,000 years old. Oh, I understand. And so he waves his hand, and uh, sort of against the wall, a, uh, a magic door sort of appears, and above it is a sign uh, with the letters T-H-O-T. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says... What does it stand for? <laughs> that hoe over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> So uh, he says, you'll have to enter the thought room and you can select one of the finest hoes that magic can create. For Thanks. you mortals, let me escort you this way. And so, uh, so he, he, he uh, escorts you over to the uh, sort of the magic demonic portal. Um, and he says, all you have to do is pass through. As you enter, you'll exit uh, as though you were walking out and in at the same time. So. Neat. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. So, what do y'all do? Walk through, I guess. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna hold hands, and we're yeah. all gonna do it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're wizard of Ozing it through. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow brick yeah. cardinal. Cool. So yeah, you jump through the portal. Uh, you can back out the side. Your bodies are renewed as though they are. Um, mortal living bodies you're still in the underworld but you now have the body um of a, a renewed body of what you had um with the I added again. with the added bonus uh of of it won't you won't age uh while you're in this place in that body so hell yeah yeah so you step through you feel fresh you feel like a you know you just really nice i'm not shower. decaying anymore yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Meep's, meep's feet smell okay now Oh, uh, yeah. no, I don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you'll, you'll put them back in shoes. They'll smell. They'll smell again. Don't okay, worry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you all you all step through, and you're seemingly okay. Yeah. Um. Jibadai, you're you're in the uh, you're in the uh, the hoe room. What do what do you see? What's going on? Well, I see a lot of nice hoes. You know, you got your gold, your silver, your uh, demonic ore hoes. Personally, I'm going to look for something a little more simple, something with a nice, sturdy rock handle, pretty simple hoe design, just something to till the fields with, mm -hmm. but that'll last. Yeah. So you find the you find the the hoe with the uh, the uh, infinity enchant on it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the infinity hoe. <laughs> Infinite hoe. Yeah. Um, cool. So you grab your you grab your hoe. Uh, and you all sort of uh, reconvene in the room uh, where you uh, were fighting the uh, demon, and the uh, the door is opened up now. Um, and the sort of like butlery dude sort of looks at Jebediah, and he says, um, "What is your next? You know, what is your next order, master?" Well, I reckon we ought to get to purifying this here portal here. Now I'm gonna turn over to Ignis and be like, "Now listen, son, you're gonna turn return to the mortal world eventually." But I gotta tell you, you gotta follow through with what you gotta follow through. It's part of growing up. And what does Ignis say? Ignis kind of squints his eyes, looks. I'm, you're sounding a lot like my dad. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, cool. All right. So um, he says uh, the uh, um, the other guy sort of conveys that it's going to come at some great cost, uh, and the. Um, uh, since you're, you're sort of now uh, Lord of the Castle, that also gives you uh, reign over the taxes, and that you'll have to raise taxes in order to pay for the uh, the expense. I'm going to not do that and just sell my crops. Pay for it out of my own pocket. Okay. All right. I'm taking the moral high route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he asks uh, when, when you'll be returning. 
Well, I reckon it'll probably take me about three weeks to till the first field. I'll come back, do a little bookkeeping, turn, do some more tilling, come back, do a little more bookkeeping. Cool. All right, cool. So, um, do you have any more business to conclude in this place before you leave the castle? Oh. No. Wait, wait, wait. Does Jebediah want to go back and take advantage of the man in the suit? <laughs> the suit of armor? I'm going to go back and check out the man in the suit of armor. Thank you, me. <laughs> I'm going to ask the butler, so what's up with that suit of armor out there? I mean, is he available? He says, uh, he says, oh, no, sir. There is, I, I, I cannot speak its name, but there is a terrible plague that the that resides in that armor. You don't you don't want that, sir. Huh. But is it cute though? <laughs> he, says, like... I, he says I don't know what you mean, sir. <laughs> okay. So then okay. you hit on the servant, that's what happens. <laughs> I'ma go back and pull Joffrey out the door. <laughs> Just be like, alright, you work for me now. Yeah. Um well so as you as you go to walk out the door, um the uh the wall where all the uh, the things sort of inscribed it are they're all sort of just like melting. Uh, it's all sort of melting into goo onto the ground um, because uh, I guess they were servants to the, the the demonic lord that was here before, and without his power to hold them together, they're they're wasting away. Cool. I'm a just power up, Joffrey. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> right. uh, let me get you to roll on uh, on some. Oh my I guess, god, uh, solidifying Joffrey. Yeah, let me get some, roll some on some intellect for your ability to do that. Fantastic. That's a six. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, so, so you go Still to, not sure how this magic works. Yeah, so, so you, go to, you go to solidify Joffrey, and uh, a piece of the puddle, like, raises up in, like, horrific, gooey, you know, fashion, and goes, and then it bubble pops, and it, it fades away. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, cool. So, um, all right. So, are you leaving the armor alone? Then we're not. We're not going to deal with the armor. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so yeah, you you exit the castle and you start making your way back to the farm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, one thing you do see that's that's pretty interesting is on Hold your on. way back you see a, a a group of three uh sort of uh adventuring party. Uh, and they run by you, and behind them trails uh, a small herd of um, fire possums. One of, one of them suspiciously looks like pumpkin as they whiz by you. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so you uh, you sort of make your way back to the farm. I click things. That's what happens. Um, so you arrive, cozy. you arrive back at your hell farm. I mean, it's a hell farm, so it's as cozy as a hell farm can be. Yeah. Um, ah, home sweet home. Yeah, yeah. So, so you ride back to the farm. Uh, what do you? You, you got your hoe? You can try it out, or anything else you're gonna do while you're here at the farm? Yeah, I guess it's time to start tilling the fields. I gotta start making some payments installment wise on this portal here. Yeah. Yeah. I think Meep's got some business to take care of as well. Meep's got some business to take care of? Mm hmm some, Like what? Some contractually obligated business. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Feel free. I've got Feel two, free to take what you want from the storage. You know I've got two more things of my adventure gear just for gnats. So I take them out and I hand them to him. Yeah. And I say I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, as Nat gobbles up the uh, the um, the food, and um, you say you're sorry, um, a little ring of fire burns uh, sort of around your peaky and dissipates into the into the air, uh, signifying the the uh, the uh, end of your contract that you've made uh, to give him food and say you're sorry. Awesome. Uh, what's that? What's is it, it, what's taking this up to the? Uh, Um, he wants to take a nap. He's tired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this was an adventure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Danica, getting a flaming hot Cheeto cow and just you know reminiscing on my life on the surface. Sure. <laughs> so, um, what is uh, what is 
your characters, I guess, uh, goals moving forward, right? You've you've gotten renewed bodies. What is a uh, Meep, uh, Meep's obviously still in the search to to recover Stan in some way. Right. Yep. Looking for answers on how to get out. <laughs> Try to find my way home. It's getting late. Mom and Dad are probably worrying about me. <laughs> oh, poor boy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and Danica. Um, you know. Hoping that there's some way that maybe I can become not dead anymore, but if I if this is my life, I guess just making the best of it and maybe waiting because Arthur's got some splaining to do. Yeah. And perfecting my magic. Cool. Um, as you're all there uh, and you're sort of deciding what to do with your lives, um, a, uh, a a post teller comes up and uh, hands a uh, a scroll to a uh, Jebediah. Uh, do you do you read it? Uh, I mean, of course. Cool. All right, cool. Um, but you always have the agency to not do so. Um, so Fair you, enough. You read, the, you read the scroll, and it is a, uh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to uh, trial by combat for the Senate seat that you now own. Uh, and it is from uh, Hillary Clinton. So... <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> She wants to inherit the problems. Who am I to stand in her way? <laughs> yeah, but the only way to take it, it's it's a it's a it, you, all all positions are done by uh, combat. So, anyways, you receive that, and that's sort of where we close uh, on Delightful. our yeah the, on the um, the campaign uh, for now. Um, certainly, uh, we are we are uh, can carry this forward if we want to. Uh, if any point in time you guys want to do more with this, we can. Um, uh, from a player level. The um the armor was filled with Mongolian death worms. So oh, uh, of course it was. I know. I was I was excited when you were going to go go open it, and then the meep stopped you. I was a little sad. Meep <laughs> um, smart. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's gonna let the Mongolian death worms out. Hooray! <laughs> um, ah, yeah, I know, right? Um, so yeah, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for playing. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a fun time. Uh, are yeah. we still streaming? Uh, let me. Uh, yeah, well, I'm. I'll take that down.